I'm taking one of my turtleneck tops and using it to make a body contour dress. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyla and I make custom designs, do pattern hacks, home decorating, and a whole lot more. I've had this knit fabric for a while and knew that I wanted to make a dress out of it and didn't feel like going out to look for one, ordering one online. I went through my stash and couldn't really find anything. So I thought, hmm, maybe I'll just take one of my tops and use it as a guide to make a dress. Here's what I did. So this is the top that I'm gonna to use to make my dress. And I want the collar and the sleeves to have the same ruching effect just as you see here. So here are all my pattern pieces. <laughs> I keep saying pattern even though I'm not using one. My bodice, front, back, sleeves, and the collar. And you'll see that I cut one part of the bodice longer than the other. I always do sample pieces of my serger just to be sure the tension is correct. I'm using a quarter inch wide elastic to make the ruching on either side of the collar and I'm also going to use this same elastic on the cuffs as well. I'm making sure to pull that elastic just a little bit as I sew along so that when it retracts it's cinched. Now that I've got the neckline complete, I can start on my sleeves. I cut the sleeves bigger than what I needed because it's much easier to be able to take in than to start all over. And I wanted to be sure that I had ample fabric to work with. I decided to serge my sleeves, but if you don't have a serger, you can definitely use a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch. Those are almost always on every sewing machine. Although the sleeve looks really good being cinched on four sides, I probably should have done that before I serge my sleeves closed. So that means I'm only going to be able to do that on two sides, which is fine. It'll still give me the look that I want. I just know for next time to try that before I actually seal up the entire sleeve. So I've got one side pinned and this is my other side already complete. And now I can serge the bottom with a cover stitch to hem it off and then I'm good to go. This is another step that I should have done with the sleeve completely open because it's easy to do on the bottom of a pant leg or the bottom of a skirt or a dress, but these armholes are small. So this took some finagling. Now that I've got the sleeves done, I've made my gathering stitches on the front of the bodice so that I can have that cinched waistline on one side of the dress. I'm just going to pull these taut here and then I'll be able to stitch my front and back bodice together. Wow. 
And here's how it looks with the gathering stitches pulled tight. Now that I've got the collar attached to the bodice, I can add my sleeves and I'm almost there. I'm using the same cover stitch to hem the bottom of the dress and here's the final look. I love how that turned out. And vacillating between my sewing machine and my serger to use the cover stitch, I might start making some more items out of stretch knit. I've kind of shied away from that fabric because I've always been fearful of how to hem the cuffs or the bottom of the dress or the bottom of the pants. But now that I've used my serger, um, I might get into that more often. So remember, if you can't find something that you want to make out of a pattern or you don't have anything in your pattern stash, take a look in your closet because you might have something right there that you can copy and turn into something else. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, thanks so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.